So Tang Growth and Pokemon Sword and Shield is really good overall, except for his special defense. It's really low. This is the only real weakness of special defense, but 100, and, 100 health, 125 defense. You're really tanky physically. 100 attack, 110 special attack. So you can do damage either way and be a sort of a mixed attacker, especially if you're going just full bulky. 50 speed is not... It doesn't matter your speed as much. It's fast enough to where if you have chlorophyll active, you can actually make a difference, but it's not... Other than chlorophyll, you're going to be slow. 50 special defense, you're going to get hit hard, especially even with 100 attack. Special attack is going to hit you really hard. Chlorophyll's are actually a... a Chlorophyll is a good ability on him because he can do some damage offensively too. But it doubles your speed. So at 50, regardless of your level, at 50 speed, if you go max speed, you outspeed 130, timid nature. You outspeed 130 with a speedy nature. So it's really good to have chlorophyll if you can get it active and if you play around it. Leaf Guard is it's a good tank ability, but I wouldn't really recommend it, especially if you're grass. And Regenerator is just one of the best abilities in the game for tanks. Because every time you switch out, you get a 30 year health back. So if you come in and wall something out and they have to switch to a special attacker, and you switch to your special attack tank, you gain whatever damage health. You gain however much damage you take. So it's really good in that way. Uh, grass. Being a grass type is not great for being tanky. Because you're weak to flying, poison, bug, fire, and ice. So you have a lot of weaknesses. And a lot of common weaknesses in like fire, ice, flying, and poison now because of fairy. Especially, actually, all these are really common now because of leech life and excess are being good. But you resist ground, water, grass, and electric, but all those weaknesses kind of become a problem. You're also immune to like poison powder, the powder moves, spore, because of being grass. So it's kind of, those are kind of benefits, but at the same time, they only help so much. But one way to run Tang Growth is just to take advantage of his full physical bulk and go max health, max defense, sleep powder. The plan is to get him the sleep powder and then you could either switch out and just gain however much damage you took back or just whittle them down with power whip, knock off, or earthquake. Again, like you can drop, if you don't want to run power whip for the accuracy, you can drop it for, uh, I think it was seed, yeah, seed bomb's an option. You could also run something like a leaf storm. Like if you plan on just sleep powdering, doing an attack and then switching out, or if you just plan on coming in, doing damage and switching out, you can always replace power whip with a leaf storm. Something like that, just do a ton of damage. Knockoff's really good, especially if you put them to sleep. Knockoff's really good because it takes away their item, and it does about 97 that first hit. Earthquake's good coverage, but again, because your stats, your attacking stats are so similar, and you're going full bulk anyway, you can run really whatever moves you want. But Tangle runs into an issue, especially to where it has like, it has like no special move coverage. Like, you have Grass, and I think he has like one other move that he can use, one other typing. You have Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast. And that's it specially like he doesn't have very many that's really it specially so you could always throw in a focus blast or a sledge bomb if you want the coverage but i kind of like this set just put him to sleep knock off their item hit him with a big leaf storm and then you can either switch out or just finish him off with the earthquake and you have so much bulk that if they switch out you're still hitting them like that's why it's good to, like if you put them to sleep with sleep powder you can knock off even if they switch you knock off their item and it and then you can switch out before you take a ton of damage but another way to run him is just max health, max attack, and just live off that bulk. And just come in, power whip, earthquake, poison jab. I like payback. Payback or knockoff in this last slot. Pay knockoff, the only thing with knockoff is you only get one big hit, and then the next hit is 65. Because you're so slow, payback will do 100 damage pretty much every time. And even if they switch out, you do 100 damage. So payback's really good. Poison jab, power whip, earthquake. You could also, again, throw in a leaf storm or... I mean, on this one, you'd kind of lose some damage by throwing in a special move, but you could if you wanted to. Again, Power Whip can be replaced with Seed Bomb. Uh, I don't think he learns any other. Yeah, Power Whip is just high damage, but lower accuracy if you want to play that risk. Again, you can replace Payback with Knock Off, but it just depends if you want the guarantee, the more damage, because Payback actually does slightly more damage. But Knock Off takes away their item, which could be a big thing. And Knock Off only has that one turn of a ton of damage. But pretty much do damage, you have leftovers, and then regenerators switch out and gain any health back when you KO them. This is the plan with this tank growth. Uh, this is a Dynamax one. Or no, this is actually a... This is a um, tank growth in sun, a chlorophyll tank growth. Pretty much max speed, max health. Like as you can see with this one, max speed, you 102, which doubles in the uh, sun. So you outspeed timid 130. So you outspeed a lot. As long as you don't run against a... 
the Zama Zenta, I want to say. Like, as long as you get everything under 130 base speed. Like, you outspeed everything under Spectral. Spectral. Under him in the speed tier. Like, everything under here, you outspeed. So, you have to be careful of, like, Barrascuta, for example. But pretty much everything fast, slower than Barrascuta, you outspeed. Is how to look at it. But the plan is you get Sun, you bring in Tangrowth, and he just comes through and wrecks everything. Life Orb. Chlorophyll, you outspeed pretty much everything. Life Orb gives you extra damage with your 100, what's your 100 base power. You're really bulky physically still, so you come in and you two-shot everything while taking the hits they do, especially if they're physical. Solar Blade, 120 base power, and it hits, has no charge in sunlight. Earthquake's good coverage. Poison Jab's a lot of damage. You also Brick Break. I like having Brick Break in that last fight if you Dynamax this one. If you Dynamax Tangrowth in this, because you outspeed and you'll do a ton of damage Dynamaxed. Plus, fighting raises your attack, so it's good coverage. If not, if you don't want to Dynamax, you can also run something like a um, Knockoff, or I wouldn't run Payback because you actually have speed. Knockoff's always really good. Uh, alt, eh. I wouldn't run Aerial Ace if you're Dynamaxing. It's not. You're already fast enough with a double speed. But I like Brick Break if you Dynamax this one. If not, this one gives you an option too is of if you want to Dynamax or not, if you have the Sunlight. But. A special this is more of a special tangrowth when it comes to dynamaxing but again you run into the issue of he doesn't have very much move coverage like tangrowth does not have move coverage you have solar beam sludge bomb focus blast and that's it of the special moves rock power ancient power which is 60 base power uh all grass <laughs> all grass uh normal and that's about it and fighting that's it you have normal grass poison fighting and then ancient power so it's not you even even, even with the egg moves you don't get a lot of base power which kind of sucks for tangrowth especially but pretty much when you dynamax you get the sunlight and if not you can you can play around the solar you can run a you can still run a special one in the sunlight with chlorophyll solar beam just have to be careful about these two moves you could also drop hyper beam for just like a physical well it's up to you but Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb. You Dynamax, Sludge Bomb raises your special attack. Grassy Terrain, this raises your attack, which doesn't really matter that much. And Hyper Beam lowers their speed, so you can play around that. But Tangrowth has some other things it can do, especially in doubles though. But it has moves like Block to where they can't switch out. So if you come in on a physical attacker and just block them in, you can just kind of just take them out because they can't do anything to you. Uh, it has all the other spores, or it has the other powders pretty much. Stun Spore, Poison Powder, and sleep powder tickle lowers our attack and defense and grain it sucks that he doesn't learn he doesn't have synthesis anymore because that would be really good for him he had it last gen but i think it was a tm but it sucks he can't get that grassy glide's always an option because of if you get grassy terrain up and you just want that part to already move that's really good rage powder and doubles especially if they have double physical attackers rage powder is really good with something like a rocky helmet because you'll take no damage and if they make contact they'll be hurting themselves I wouldn't run nature power is also an option on him it depends on nature power nature's power is also an option it does different things based off the terrain and the environment so it could it's very like high risk high reward i should say i actually don't know how this works dynamax actually i have no clue how I, I don't know how i assume it takes this move and dynamaxes it into whatever but it can give you that, like, Nature's Power can give you its own little Dynamax thing. Or, like, its own little, um, coverage of, oh, you need this. It, I mean, it gives it better coverage, honestly. Other than, like, maybe Energy Ball, you don't have access to really any of these moves. So you could always run that, but you will pretty much only get these three. You'll get the last four, and that's about it. Or Try Attack, which is whatever. So, I mean, if you play it just to have to use on Terrains, you could do some things. Because they also get the Terrain Boost, too. So you could play around with Nature Power like that. Leech Seed again is really good, especially being a grass type and a tanky grass type at that. Especially with the Regenerator, if you set it, set it up for someone else to Leech Seed. Flail and Endeavor, you're too slow really to make use of those two. And you're really bulky, so you're not going to be at low health that often. And Confusion, no. 50 base power, nah, that's not it. Uh, it also does learn Amnesia and Swords Dance, but it's slow. That's the only thing. So you'd have to get either a... Amnesia could work, but you have no sustain. So you would set up, and then it's like... Okay, cool. Now, one amnesia in your defense and special defense would be about the same. But you have no way to heal unless you use rest. So it's kind of, they can kind of play around a little bit. Sword Dance is really good. If you can, especially in Chlorophyll, especially in the sun, if you can Sword Dance or in doubles or something like that. 
Swords Dance with the sun up and just outspeed and try to KO everything. It takes a little bit of setup, but it's kind of worth it if you can get it on. Uh, Body Slam is good. 85. I think it has a 30% chance to flinch or uh, paralyze. Yeah, 30% chance to paralyze. Uh, Stomping Tantrum. It's it's not bad coverage wise, but you have an Earthquake and you don't have really moves that can take advantage of Stomping Tantrum, so you gotta be careful. Rock Slide is also a good coverage for flying types if you're if you're running a uh, Chlorophyll one with the and the Sun Chlorophyll. It's really good for flying types because they could be a problem. Yeah, especially like a um, the Corviknight and Skarmory could be a problem. So Rock Slide's good just to have <coughs> just to have that neutral damage, but. That's how to use Tangrowth in Pokemon Sword and Shield.